how you got started in real estate and then got started over into the finance side of things. Sure. So I read someone gave me a good friend, gave me rich dad, poor dad in college. So that was about 11 years ago now. And I read that book, bought a house right away, you know, like, cause I wanted to actually implement the, the advice and that house became a good cash machine for me. I rented it out first then actually lived in it. Then two years later, I uh, lease option the property once I moved out and the tenant paid early, then cashed me out six months, you know, like later. And that was an awesome experience. I also, during that time, started working with a real estate investing company that where the first eight months, like I just worked on the side basically as a volunteer, like I just want to learn more about the real estate investing world. And that's where I got into actually seeing high volume and whatnot. And cause then once I officially came on board with them, we took that company from like five deals a month, about 25 or 30 deals a month. And I got to sit in every seat in that company as well too, from acquisitions, dispositions, project management, property management, you know, the transaction coordination, finance, you know, like all those different seats. So I got to see not only like a real estate company and like buying deals and like the formulas and how we did all of that and acquisitions, but also just small business and how it's run. Mm -hmm. And that's where I, one of the last seats I sat in. So that was kind of like my introduction to real estate and like getting heavily into it. One of the last seats I sat in was that finance seat. That was another eye opening moment to me because now I saw the money going, you know, coming in and going out and like all where, how it all flowed and, just being able to learn that position. And we were doing 25 deals a month, which sounds amazing. Like our, our highest year, we did over 300 deals in a year. And, you know, that sounds awesome. But as much as was, you know, coming in, that much or more was going out every month. So we'd have six, seven figure months. And sometimes it would be that on the expense side too. So it's like, we were just spinning our wheels. And I know a lot of investors get into that position, but it was just humbling to see it you know, firsthand and see like that going on. I'm like, why are we doing this? Like, why are we spinning our wheels? So that's kind of what got me interested on the financial side and being like, I bet you there's a lot more people like this that just need help getting into a better cash position or just managing that cash. So that's kind of what got me into the, the first spark of like, I think there's a need here. Then I actually moved across the country because at that time behind the scenes, I'd built a little portfolio, sold a bunch of those off and then could have lived anywhere, moved closer to family, but started working with another investor. And the first thing I did was like, show me your numbers. Like, I don't, I don't want to see anything else. I don't care how many deals you're doing. I just care about like the numbers behind the scenes. And, you know, cause that data gives me the knowledge of what's really happening, but there were no numbers. Like the stuff that was there was a mess. So I saw there, there was another big need of like, like just getting the numbers in order. So that was to me, we got that done, taken care of. And then from there, saw that a bunch of his money was tied up in properties. Like he was only leveraged at like 25, 30% of his portfolio that he had. And like, he was wondering where all his money went. And I'm like, well, now that we have the numbers there, it is like, it's tied up in a lot of the properties and you dumped a lot of your money into it. And that's where he said to me, like, this is life changing because I have control over my business now by knowing these numbers. And like I, he did, he took a bunch of the cash out to go and do more investing. And he's like, this has given me just a lot more freedom to be able to do that. And that was the, that's why I made the leap from real estate investing to like helping real estate investors with the finances. Cause now I was like, now I've got the bug of, if I can help this on one time, I could do this again and like help people with this and not live deal to deal. And that's what got me interested in the financial side. You know, it's amazing what knowing the numbers can do for you yeah. <laughs> and, and understanding the, you know, the KPIs, Jonathan, I know you have, an opinion on growing to be growing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like I, I said all the time, you know, you, when you, you scale unresponsibly, you're, you're creating a machine that you have to feed and then, then market change or different things, fluctuations happen and you, you end up crumbling because you don't have a good grasp of the underlying numbers as, uh, as uh, David said right there. I mean, you know, if, if, if 75% of your equity is trapped inside portfolios and not able to, you know, then how do you scale your business? You can't even do that because your, your money's capped at, you know, or, or trapped in your, in your equity. So yeah, that's knowing your numbers is such a huge deal. Like, and like, if you can't, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And that's just as simple as it gets. 